That's right, folks, a 454 SS, and that's what's coming to you from the shop here at Cleveland Power Performance, is a 1990 Chevrolet 1500 454 SS. Old body style trucks are making a huge comeback, although they've always been cool. The coolest one of all the old body style trucks, in my opinion, and in probably a lot of people's opinions, is a 454 SS. It's got a 454 in it. Who doesn't love a 454? And it's an SS, it's a super sport. Anything with that badge is pretty cool. I mean, you could ask around. If it's an SS, it's probably pretty cool. There's all kinds of cool SS examples out there. This is one of my favorite, and I hope it's one of your favorite too. And maybe throughout the process of what we're gonna be doing on this and the video documentation of this truck, if it's not one of your favorites, maybe it could become one. So why don't you stick around and find it in your heart to see if this could become maybe your favorite Super Sport Edition General Motors product. Anyway, I can hear you asking me, Tim, what are you doing with this truck? Why is it in the shop? Well, as you can see, take a look at this truck. It's a pretty clean example of a 1990-1500. Fairly solid in the areas that matter, here, here, bottom of the doors and all that stuff. We're basically just doing a restoration on this thing. We're not doing an engine swap on this one. We're not doing crazy paint. We're not doing an outlandish interior on this. We're gonna do all those things, but we're gonna make it look production. We're gonna make it look like it came off the showroom floor, but maybe even a little bit better. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take that interior out. Oh wait, it's already out. I forgot, the interior's already gutted. But I have some footage of that, so let's lay that here and let's talk about it. Ooh, look at that interior. Ooh, I love the Burgundy 454 SS interior. It looks fantastic. Ooh, look at all those new materials. Yes, ooh, it's gonna be so comfortable. So, as you can see, the interior process is already underway. We're gonna be restoring that to look kind of factory original. Get a little more custom touch on it. We're gonna do all the paint and body, all the mechanical stuff needed to make this thing basically brand new. We're gonna drop that 454 engine out, we're gonna re-gasket it, we're gonna freshen it up, replace any parts that need to be replaced. Same thing with the trans, same thing with the rear axle. Then we're gonna get the cab off of this thing. We're gonna get the bed off of this thing. We're gonna lay some paint on that frame, and then we're gonna lay some paint on the exterior of the truck. This is a pretty cool story behind the truck. It was one that the owners had for a while. It fell out of the family. The son of the original owner tracked the truck down, purchased it back brought it back into the family. So it's kind of an homage to the father who purchased the truck new. It's super cool. We love stuff like this. We love having it in here. And it's just another cool example of what we like to do here at Cleveland Farm Performance. And that's do different stuff. This is a cool example of just a, a bit of a restoration. So why don't you stick around? We're gonna throw this thing on the lift. We're gonna see what needs done. And then we're gonna have some fun. And I guarantee you we're gonna make it run. So stick around. Let's see what we can make happen here at Cleveland Farm Performance. Okay, so we got the truck on the lift. We got some progress being made here. We got the bed off. We got some parts ordered. And we have a direction on what we're gonna be doing with the truck. So next, we're gonna get the cab off. We're gonna get the doors off. We're gonna get the engine out. We're gonna get the frame stripped down and taken over to the body shop to be painted. But uh, we do have a ton of new parts that we ordered. Let's go take a look at what we ordered, what we have ready for the truck. In order to be ready to work on this truck, we went ahead and bought a ton of stuff that we're gonna need to replace. So we got a bunch of suspension stuff. We're gonna strut that stuff over there. We're gonna strut that shock. We got struts and shocks. We have some parts from LMC, our friends over at LMC. Cab corners, rockers, and other areas of metal that we know are gonna have to be reworked and replaced. All right, we're gonna keep moving on this thing. We're gonna get the engine out. We're gonna get the body off and we're gonna get this frame over to our body shop so it can get blasted and repainted. We'll follow up on the engine. We'll follow up on all the suspension stuff they're gonna be doing. We'll check out and see where the bed is right now. And we'll see what is gonna happen next with this 454 SS. So we got the bed over here in the body shop and it's time to give her a look over and see what kind of rust and crust we're dealing with. As you can see, these guys are making a template of the side decals. Just wanna make sure we get them 100% correct to the way they were before. So it's time to knock some paint off. And whoa, it didn't take long for these sultans of sandpaper to hand strip the bed sides down to bare metal. So now we have a good idea on how far the pinholes and the wheel walls spread out to the rest of the bed. Everything is looking promising so far, but we'll have to blast the inner wheel tubs and the underside and all that down to see the whole situation. You know, back over on this side of the shop, we have some more parts off the truck. Let's take a look at this. Okay, we got the doors off here. They're getting disassembled. We almost got the dash out. Obviously the front clips off. All kinds of stuff over there. We're taking inventory. So it's almost time to get the body up off of this thing. And that's when the real magic happens. So let's make some magic happen.
All right, so as you can see, we have that cab off of that frame. So what's the next step? The next step is to get the engine out, to get the frame completely disassembled, and get all this stuff over to the body shop. In the meantime, we're going to do some cleanup and get all these parts that are laying around sorted, inventoried, and put away safely so we know exactly where they are when we need to go to put the truck back together. So we're going to go ahead and say that's part one of the video on this 454 SS pickup truck. So stick around for more content coming to you soon on this truck, and we're going to see what happens over there in the body shop. We're going to see some paint getting sprayed and laid. Stay tuned. Coming soon.